another day, another vlog. Hope you're well on this Thursday. Oh yeah, I need a bit of Legion energy today to uh, get me through. I've got to get some work done. We've got a bit to talk about. Um, last night, I, I sat down and I really, really pushed hard to see if I could get my my road reel video where I needed it. And the video I've got is gonna be, I think, a really good how-to video and how I, how I set up my photo shoots and stuff like that. I just could not get it. Um, just, just running through the gear and just the basic stuff was three minutes. I just can't do it. The, the three minute video, I've, I sat down and I, I wrote down some notes and went through and I've got a whole page here where I'm working out my idea and I've got a really good idea and a story to back it up, uh, which is sort of family orientated and something close to me. So I, I've got till next break, I can do it on next break. So that's the other good thing. I, I thought it was September the 16th, but it's not till October the 7th that it is a cutoff point for the My Road Reel. So if you still haven't thought of an idea, you've got time um, and, I, and I sort of, Work out something you can do, three minutes, you don't think it's a lot, but it, to get it three minutes is, but sometimes it's hard to bring it back down under three minutes. That's that's super, super tricky as well. So just be aware of that. Um, that's still going, definitely worth trying. Even if you're new in it, what you do from trying to enter it will help you down the track. And I think it's, you're not gonna lose out of it. You're gonna get that experience. Um, you might get some feedback, which would be fantastic, and you'll also get a bit of an understanding of what it takes to to work to uh, how do you say it? work to a brief, I guess. Which is what once you do start doing, uh, if you're working for customers and stuff like that, you need to work to their brief. They're paying you, so that's what they want. I've had to do that once with um, when I worked with Bocker Bearings, and they were really awesome. Um, they give me basically a bit of a free reign on what to do. Um, I threw an idea at them on, on what I wanted to do for the video um, and they let me go. Uh, and then they had to, they still had to sign off on it. So it was kosher and happy and, and not against their company values and all that sort of stuff. But I, I was lucky in that regard. Sometimes you don't always get that free reign to do what you want. So it's good to have some limitations to test your abilities and to, I guess push you to find a way around things, I guess, as well. So that, that's always good. So I've got a really good idea for that. Um, I'll speak to you more. It's, it's, we've got a fair bit of time to go on that, so that's not good. So what I had to do is, well, what am I gonna do for a video? I, I basically got that video just about 90% done. I've got to go through and do colors, edits, the final trim, and that's done. So that's my pre-video, and that'll be for the double four hike walk. So I've still got to do that video. So. I'm, it's sort of throwing me around a bit. So I stayed up late last night and I worked on a new video, which will be, it's an Astro video that I did, um, some Milky Way stuff. I took a uh, good mate Ben out from work. I've known him for 10 years or 11 years that I've been here on site. He's got a Nikon Z6. He'd never done Astro photography. Um, didn't know what his camera was capable of. I didn't, it's a full frame, mirrorless, it's an amazing camera. It goes up to like 100,000 ISO, so sort of blew the poor little M50 out the, out the door. So it was good for me, I, I didn't take it too seriously. I started looking at the photos last night to start editing them to get rid, uh, through. I did a couple of panos, but I didn't really focus it properly. I've got a few nice shots in there, so I think I can definitely get, get some shots and get a video out of it, but I, I was, but, probably enjoying more time spending it with Ben to sort of help him to sort of get an understanding a, of what his camera could do and how amazing uh, the Astro and the Milky Way and shooting at night can be and, and how lucky we are where we are at work because uh, we're just ba it's basically dark skies here. We've only got to walk about three, four Ks and you it's basically black skies. There's zero light pollution. So we're very lucky in that regards. Um, and he had a ball, so that was like huge enjoyment for me. So hopefully that will come up in the, I haven't looked at the videos yet. So hopefully that will come up in, show that in that. So it was, a, I guess, a, a little bit of a coaching video for me. So it was pretty cool, um, something different. I've coached baseball since I was 16, um, up to state level. 
so video, the coaching side and, and trying to explain it to people is good. It's just being confident enough in my skills to, to be able to tell someone, yeah, try this, do that, and give people options so they can do it. And he had a ball, so it was good. So I think it'll work out to be a good video. Um, and it was really good for me to see how the Z6 work, how a full frame uh, differs from the APS-C cameras. So again, I, I think it's it's the cost is there. You got a couple of thousand dollar camera versus a six hundred dollar camera. Understand that, but it does make a big difference for that low light stuff. You see that with that new Sony. That new Sony's just freaking amazing. So very very cool. So I've got all that sorted. So I've started into the photos. So. I should be able to smash it out by the weekend. It probably won't be my normal Friday night like I try to get done. Uh, so look, bear with me. It'll probably be Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I, need, I need to get some sleep in there at some stage too as well. So I'm a little bit behind schedule, so my apologies, but I will get it. I think, I'm pretty sure I can get one out this weekend. I'm 99% sure, so I've got 1% chance of stuffing up. <laughs> Radio, um, today, F-150 Raptor. Well, we, we all know about the F-150 Raptor. We talked about the TRX Ram the other day, that new monster that uh, Rams decided to release. Uh, it's got that Hellcat engine that everyone loves, including myself. Big fan of Hemis since I was a kid. Uh, mechanic, love Hemi engines, love that sound. They're an amazing engine. They always have been a brilliant, brilliant engine. Uh, that thing's insane, the Hellcat engine, and what the, and what Dodge has done with that, and how it's, I guess, um, refreshing up their whole image for Dodge. It just changed the way that bring that classic muscle car back, uh, and it just their business was basically nothing. It was just Jeep, and that was pretty much it. And then they come back with the Charger, the all the new cars they've got, the Hellcats, the that big drag car, the Dragon, the, De the Demon. Uh, so they've done really well out of it and it's done well. Well, Ford, they're not going to stand by and let someone beat them on power. They've got the, was it the GT500 Mustang 5.2 supercharged engine. They shoved that into the new F-150 Raptor. Now, they're talking about a two-option basis, so you still have the V6 twin turbo or you can get this big monster. <clears throat> now, the Mustang out output has it at 567 kilowatts. They're saying, uh, well, I got this from Cars Guide, read an article from them, uh, possibly around the 540 to 560 mark will be, they said it'll be a little bit detuned, which is a bit strange. Um, that will get them an increase in kilowatts, but it will be less in torque. I don't think the torque is really what's going to be much of a concern. Uh, when you get up to those sort of figures, I think the it's 881 newton meters torque, so it's still an absolute crap ton. You'll still be able to pull Christ off the cross with it. So I don't think you'll have any dramas there. The Mustang um, has a peak torque of 847, so they're going to have to find, they've got about 30 or 40 newton meters they need to find. They might be able to bump up that kilowatts to get that extra, just to claim the full victory. But I think even if they put that supercharge engine in, I think they will sell absolute, absolute epic amounts in the States. It's only scheduled for left-hand drive, so it's going to be a conversion basis to get it to Australia. I can't see them releasing it here. We're not getting much here at all in that regards. But look, it's the Raptor's been a huge success for Ford. Uh, it's a, a huge success for the Ranger Raptor here in Australia. That's been a massive success. Excuse me. And, um, yeah, so, like, the, they even talked about the Ranger Raptor getting a 500-kilowatt-plus engine this year, too, a V8. Um, the engine has been developed. It's been tested. Whether they put it in and sell it is another thing, but it's definitely an option. So we could have a Ranger, which I'm not sure what they call in the States, the car. My apologies, guys. But basically, our Ranger, I think it might be a Ranger there as well. But I think they might call it a different name. Damn it. I think it is. My apologies again. Well, they're talking about a 500 kilowatt version for that here in Australia, Australian developed V8. So that would be amazing in such a little package, probably performance wise, up to the level of these other two monsters. Um, 
no prices obviously on, on it as such. It's more of a basically a release saying they're going to do it. They haven't locked all that in, what they're going to do with the variants, but definitely will probably be coming. Now, DJ Osmo last night uh, released a new little pocket gimbal to suit your phones called the Osmo 4. And look, normally I think I talked about my one yesterday. I don't really use them as much. Uh, they're a bit of a pain to use, and we talked about that with the Crane 2S, how it attaches, and you could put it on and off your tripod. Brilliant. Well, look, got blown away today. DJI have come out with this little pocket one for your phone, and it's got a ma they're using magnets. Everyone's using magnets nowadays. Apple's about to do it in their new phone, uh, in their new phone case. So that magnets are the big thing. And basically, you take your phone, and you attach a small little magnet on the back of it, uh, it's like a little clip and then the gimbal is basically lock on off so you can pull it on and off and you just throw it on automatically balanced in that point beautiful sweet as biggest problem solved with gimbals is balancing where once you get that point right you're good to go you can then film it it's got a dozen different modes just ridiculous amounts of modes story mode gesture active track guide roll panorama hyperlapse dynamic zoom motion lapse time lapse Spin start, slow mo. Uh, it's got a 240 degree pano. It's got a three by three pano, which I thought was a brilliant too. So that's basically photo, 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 nine stitching together. That would be pretty cool. Uh, and it does it all for you. You just set it up, hold the gimbal, and it'll just move the camera or move the move the phone and do it all for you and connect to your phone and takes the photos through the app. So look, they three axis stabilized, super, super silky smooth, and 239 bucks Australian. So a really good price for a high quality gimbal. Uh, if you're into vlogging and you're starting out and you're starting a YouTube channel, look, this, I have to say, I think I said it in my how to start a YouTube video um, that I did this year in 2020. Uh, starting with your phone, with what they can do with camera-wise and uh, photos, you have to be crazy not to. Um, I've got an anamorphic lens that I, I can attach to my phone, and I did a lot of my early Another Day Another vlogs using that, um, and I still plan to do some more stuff with the phone with that, um, and I still think it's a viable option. I've got a new case coming for it so I can use it more. Definitely have a look at this. Go check it out for that price. It's a great, great deal. And then last but not least, R5, heating over things. Now, we, there was a firmware announced last night. It was actually released overnight in the States, and we already got some testing back from it. Um, now, the, thermal, well, the firmware was for some thermal limits and some other just generic bugs and stuff, and also video time limits. Now, the videos that came out today didn't talk about those video time limits, but they did talk about the thermal limits and it's, there is a big increase. We're talking probably double the time of existing heat issues. Um, so it's still not a perfect scenario, but I think um, the boys at DP Review were getting with 4K Ultra HD, which he considered the best. Uh, 8K was probably doubled from, say, instead of five minutes, it's now 10 minutes. So you get 10 minutes of 8K. Well, with the 4K... Ultra HD, he was going from like 10 to 20 minutes, 20 to 25 minutes, I think, anywhere up to 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Some actually like usable sort of time frames to do a video with. So look, that's huge. If you have got an R5 on order, obviously make sure you get the firmware, drop it straight into the camera as soon as you get it. Uh, this is gonna help you out immensely. Um, not a lot of, I think, are really going to use that 8K unless they're going to use it for cropping. Um, there's still uh, a little bit of a lag on the cool down period, and that's the only thing I can see from the boys. That they, both videos um, that I did watch on it today, they both said that basically, yes, it gives you an increase in time, but the biggest problem is still that how long it takes to recover. And this firmware does make it a little bit better, but you're still waiting, can be waiting. 20, 15 to 20 minutes to get 10 minutes back. So if you're in the middle of a shoot and it, and it shuts down and you're done and, you've, and you're paying models and staff and lighting and 
wall that or, or you're in, a, in the middle of a scene where you need people or the light's fantastic coming over the hills and you want to capture that and now your camera's dead, that's always going to be the issue. Canon, I still think, needs to come up with a, a proper solution at least to get that 4K up to usable half an hour minimum with five to five minute, maybe max 10 minute. 10 minutes max should be cool in period. If you're gonna wait any more than 10 minutes, people aren't gonna put up with that. That's just ridiculous. If you're in the middle of a shoot or in the middle of the bush, you're not gonna stand around for half an hour just so you can use your camera. It's just, and you're not gonna buy another $6,000 camera either. So that's just insane. So some good news, but still not as good as we'd hope. Uh, video wise, look, I'd have to say, and I've watched more videos, another camera conspiracies today about, you put it up, the A7S III up against the Fuji X-T4. And look, it's, this thing is a beast. If you need video and you want a hybrid camera so you can take some shots and you're not a, much of a photographer, you're more of a video side, just go to Sony. I'm sorry, I love my Canons, love my M50, but if you want video, that thing is just crushing in so many levels on the video level. And I'm sorry, the, the Canons just can't keep up with that video spec. Um, but that's about it. Radio, another day done and dusted. Thursday, tomorrow's Friday, and then I got the weekend so I can get to try and get this video. Got to do some work tonight, so a little bit more Legion energy, and then we'll be seeing you all tomorrow. Ah, pineapple, that's the one. Love that pineapple. Okay, doc, we'll be coming this way, that way. I'll catch you tomorrow. Stay safe. Ciao.